Vic. You can't do a Q&A every month. Ha <laughs> ha! Uploads go! <laughs> Let's do this. Welcome to the May 2020 Q&A. Every month, last Thursday of the month. If you want to leave a question, you can leave one in the comments below. But I'd recommend watching the video first so you know what to say and what not to say. Because I'm going to try and not repeat. Amazing Wave asks, Question, would you be interested to stream some of the Splatfest with me? Uh... Blue asks, If Nintendo games never existed, what games would you play? I'd probably PlayStation games. When I was growing up, I only had the GameCube, we had a NES, we had a PS1, and a PS2. So I really wouldn't have had any choice but to play more PlayStation games. Like, uh, <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to think of PlayStation games off the top of my head. Th there's good ones out there. Like Neopets the Darkest Fairy for the PlayStation 2. A classic. A Blue Boo asks, question for Vic, what is your favorite ability? If I had to pick one, it'd probably just be swim speed. I feel like I put swim speed into like every build that I do. Like, almost out of habit, because I feel like if I don't have it now, I feel like there's something wrong with the build, because I just feel too slow. Even though I play, like, weapons on every end of the spectrum, I just feel like the swim speed makes a little tiny difference for me. Cookie Gary asks, I got a question for the next Q&A. What are your favorite types of video games? Well, honestly, you would think shooters, because, like, I play a lot of Splatoon. But Splatoon was really the first shooter that I wasn't awful at. <laughs> like, we owned a random, like, Call of Duty game on maybe, like, PlayStation or something, but we were awful. My sister and I couldn't get past, like, the first or second world or mission or whatever. Like, when Splatoon came out, I was like, uh, can I play this game? Will I be able to win this game? The fact that it was a Nintendo game surely helped, but I wasn't sure if I would be any good at it. And luckily, I'm at least... <laughs> decent at it, or I guess I probably wouldn't be doing this. So, besides Splatoon, I would say RPGs are probably my next best bet. I love Pokemon. I love games where you can really like get a feel for the characters, their storylines and everything like that. That's probably why Celeste was such a big hit. I just finished playing Celeste about last night <laughs> from when I'm recording this question. So, if you got good characters, I'll probably play a game. Cosmic Star says, I asked my sister for a question, and she said, Have you ever smoked a carrot before? Have fun! I'm allergic, so no. <laughs> nope. Flaming Grassy asks, A question, eh? Have you heard of Roblox? Well, I'm a Roblox gamer question you, so... Yeah. I am not a Roblox gamer. I know all about the oofs and the funny memes, but I myself have never played a Roblox. However, someone has played Roblox under my name, seeing as they've had an account since 2018 named Victheon. Cool. <laughs> it seems I've gotten a whole bunch of like cool badges. I don't know if they're actually any good or not. It seems like they have like a limited edition item of some sort on the Roblox. And, e and even the description is like, hey, it's Victoria. I still don't know who made the Roblox account. It's just there. So I guess Vic Beyond has played Roblox, even if I haven't played Roblox. Glass asks, so what other pets do you got? And is Tippy your favorite overall? First of all, yes. And second of all, I got this one. I got this one. And I got this one. They're all good. And I love all of them. The hero star asks, why? And I say, because I can. Why am I making this Q&A? Because I can. Why are you such a happy individual? Because I can be. Why are you answering this question? Uh, because I can and it's fun. Yay, next question. Hero the Diamond asks, if you're in the Pokemon world, would you be a gym leader or a trainer? Now, when I first saw this question, I was like, okay, I definitely want to be a gym leader, and I would just be like a fire-type gym leader. But I realized pretty quickly how many Pokemon I like that aren't fire-type Pokemon. Like, I like Cyndaquil. But then you think, Vivian, you got Celebi, even though a gym leader wouldn't have a Celebi, I still can like that Pokemon. You got, like, Ampharos, Azumarill, a Vaporeon, and I'm like, ah, what would I be? Like a, like a, like a fire and water type gym leader? That's not how it works. So I think I'd have to be a trainer just so I could have a whole bunch of different Pokemon. 
And I think it's more fun to experiment with, like, your teams anyway. When I was younger and I used to actually play Pokemon at a vaguely competitive level, I would be the kind of person who would run the underused Pokemon even when playing an OU, like Flygon. <laughs> I was one of those. So I think I'd have to be a trainer. Kale Nipclaw says, Have you ever read Homestuck? Uh, yes. Yes, I fell down that rabbit hole back in 2012. Woo! <laughs> and I never escaped. I, I, mean, I don't really read the Homestuck 2, but I know it's there. I have a couple of those little aspect charms. I got a scarf of Rose Lawn that I bought off of like an Etsy artist. I was definitely, I was definitely homestuck, and I don't think I can ever truly escape. Leo asks, what's your favorite ink color and favorite ink color combination? You'd think that I'd say the same ink color, like to be alongside the ink color combination, but while my favorite ink color is the purple, the one I like seeing the most when I'm playing the game is actually that like, that baby blue versus the yellow. It's one that's only in Splatoon 2. I'll hopefully put a picture of it up on the screen right now. Thank you, future Vic, for remembering to do this. And it's good. I like that one. Max says, okay, question, 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 hmm. If you had to create an entire government only composed of your friends, and it can include you, who would be in each role? Well, Max, I am the giant rat that makes all the rules. So, it's me. I am the president. I am the vice president. I am the military general. I run the channel, and this question is over, and we're getting out of here. Michael says, hey, Vic, got some questions for you next time. Can you try to pronounce my Chinese name? It'd help if you actually want to learn Mandarin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google the name now. We're gonna take a stab at it. Yeah, take a stab at it. The way that it's pronounced is obviously, um, I'm gonna say it right now. It's gonna be great. You're gonna hear it, and it's gonna be fantastic, and it's gonna definitely be me. Um, the way you say that word is... And I'm glad that you are here to listen to it. And if I were to design a weapon for Splatoon 3, what would it be? Uh, let's go with a serious answer first. If I could design a weapon for Splatoon 3, I definitely would want even more sloshers. I really don't care what they do. They're just, they're just fun. Maybe we could have, you know, they could have a tri-slosher. What if we have a tri-slosher? But maybe it has just two outputs instead of one. Like maybe, like instead of three, I mean. And maybe there's no one in the middle. So it's just like a V. Because that'd be a good weapon for me. Because it's a V. <laughs> and if I wanted to make a joke weapon for Splatoon 3, imagine the dually squelchers. They took the dual squelcher and they already chopped it in half. What if they just take one of those dually squelchers and chop that in half? So your inkling's holding one full dually squelcher in one hand and two little, little 3 d squelchers in the other hand, and that's it. That's the weapon. It's called the 3 d squelchers. It's gonna be in Splatoon 3. I can't imagine any reason why it wouldn't be, and we're good. Nick asks, have any of your cats done something a bit evil? Uh, well, if I don't get out of bed fast enough in the morning and Tippy is nearby, like if he's asleep on the bed and I move and he sees me move and I don't get up, he will get up first. Kind of, kind of look at me, dead in the eyes, and begin to move himself slowly towards the posters that I used to have on the wall, and he'll start to paw at them, a little threateningly, like he's gonna rip one. I got tired of having all my posters in jeopardy, so now they're like, higher up on the wall. He does other plenty evil things too, like biting any plushies that stay out for a little too long, so they gotta be moved around, and that's always fun. Tippy is a little bit evil, but he's a good boy, and I love him. Also, pretty much all my cats like to steal my food, so that's also not not the best thing. <laughs> Pixel Squid says you like jazz, so favorite jazz song. There's there's a lot of really good ones. While I really do love "Come Fly with Me," if I wanted to pick a more upbeat jazz song, one of the first ones that comes to mind is "Rockin' Robin." If you don't know Rockin' Robin, it's uh, he rocks in the treetops all the day long, hopping and a bopping and a singing his song. I would really recommend looking that up if you don't know it. It's one of my favorites. We sung it in middle school jazz choir at one point. And it definitely helped me open my ears up to a whole new like genre of music. Sometimes you don't realize what you like until someone else is like, hey, listen to this thing, or hey, try this thing. Will it lead to some stuff that you probably don't like? Yeah but it might lead to something that you actually do enjoy, too. So, take a risk. Listen to something new. Shifter asks, Do you remember 
the 21st night of September. Party up! <laughs> okay, real question. I know you're not a huge Smash person, but since I am, I want to know how you reacted to Inkling and Smash. I'll be very honest with you in that I don't really remember how I reacted to Inkling and Smash, but I assume that I probably yelled about it on Twitter, so I'm gonna look right now. So update, I didn't tweet about it at all, so that doesn't help this case. But I am really glad they took the time to give a bunch of different weapons for the attacks. Like, it makes people who don't own Splatoon be like, Hey, what's this thing? What's this paint bucket doing here? And then they might look up our game and start playing Splatoon 2 for the Nintendo Switch! And we win! And maybe they win too if they like the game. So, I'm glad that Inkling is in Smash. I don't really think we're gonna ever get the Octolings, personally. But I understand why people are still hoping for it to be DLC someday. Starburst says, Are you actually a rat, not clickbait? Uh, well I did say earlier in the video that I am the giant rat that makes all the rules. So I can't take that one back, can I? Sadly, in real life, I am 0% rat. I am 100% Vicvion. Which means I'm half Victoria and half Vivian. Yes. Starlight of Moonside asks, Hey Vic, what is your favorite Vivian form? My favorite Vivian form, honestly, is the polar one. It's the one that we have around here, actually. Like, in the East Coast-ish area. It's like the blue one with like, it almost looks like little white spots, look like stars. It's very cute. I like it a lot. If I had to pick a second one, though, I think the original pink form is the first one that I ever saw. I didn't know for a really long time that they had different color options. But I'm glad they do, because it's really fun to trade around scatterbugs and see what kind of Vivian you get. That was a big thing I remember during the Oras time. They also ask, what countries have I been to? Uh, the US of A. <laughs> That's it. Should the Heavy Splatling Remix have burst bombs? If it did, people wouldn't be happy about it. You're giving a long range thing more long range things. I would say it wouldn't end too well. It wouldn't end too well. It'd be fun for those of us playing the Heavy. Steve asks, if you could own anything, weapons, gear, jellyfish, etc. from the Splatoon universe in the real life, what would it be? And I would say, can I have some more of those super cool jackets, please? Have you seen Splatoon fashion? It's like the men's section of Forever 21, but in a game. Like, all the jackets are good. I, I would take as many of those jackets as I was allowed and just get on out of the store. They're all mine now. Give me. After I pay, of course. Wither says, question, where is Bob? But for real, will you do any Super Mario Maker 2 streams again? Uh, the answer is, I want to stream Mario Maker 2. Remember at the start of the year, when I was gonna make a Mario Maker video, and then I didn't? I'll do that again, I hope, eventually, but make the video for real this time. <laughs> but otherwise, I am really excited to at least see bob -Oms in the Paper Mario game. That'll be fun. I, like, if we get to have him as a little NPC friend for the whole game, then I already win. Zavadi asks, Have you ever played or taken interest in the Mario and Luigi spin-off RPGs? The one on the GBA, the DS, and the 3DS. When I was younger, I owned Bowser's Inside Story. I don't remember anything about it, which either means that, like other video games my sister and I had when we were young, like an old Zelda game, for example, we either gave up, or we were just so bad that we never were able to finish it. <laughs> like, I own Yoshi's Island DS, and I haven't finished that one either. I bought a copy of Mario Galaxy. It's sat in my room since too many games last, uh, summer. It's been almost a year, and I haven't played a minute of it. Oops. Willis is Cool says, What's your favorite game that starts with B and ends with Wrath of the Wild? Uh, can it stand for I didn't buy that game? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing that I did when we got our Switch was it kind of sat doing nothing for a while because we didn't have any games until Mario Kart came around. We played the Splatoon demo when that came out. That was the first game we had on the Switch. And then after the demo ended, uh, we cracked and we bought Mario Kart. Thank you, Nintendo. Doing what you do best. Making people buy your games because the Switch has games. Hey, I did that. I answered your questions. Again! If you want to leave a question, feel free to leave one in the comments below, and I'll answer it at the end of next month! That's June, if you didn't know. May's been real cool. Between you guys enjoying the mixed content as well as the Splatfest, the channel went through a pretty sudden jump in subs in the last month! 
and I want to let you know that I'm super thankful for that. I try to make videos to make you guys smile, and I don't plan on changing that anytime soon. I'll be trying to get back into the song content in June too, so get ready for that. Ah! Now go drink some water, because this video is over. Wee! Ah, the video is fading away!